Hello everyone, I'm Donita from Visiotic and today I'll be demonstrating on how you can use our products to make your life easier. Stay tuned. Okay, so this is the 12A, uh, it's 28,000 milliwatts. Uh, this is the 12B, it's 57,000 milliwatts. And the 12A, as you can see, lasts up to five hours and the 12b is up to 10 hours okay so now i'm going to show you how to connect them you can see there's a difference in size so i'm just going to use one of them to demonstrate on how we set it up so first things first um that's an on off switch i'm leaving it off at the moment um most routers are nine volt if you look on the back of your router you will see where it tells you how many volts you need but yeah most of them are 9 volt and then your ONT fiber box most of them are 12 volt I'm just using this as an example because I can't find a box anywhere that I can demonstrate with so now we're going to do a connection using our little splitter box connection now the cables on here you've got 5 volt which is clear you've got the white one which is 9 volt and the black one which is the 12 volt so what would happen here is you'd connect this to your out port then you would take your 9 which is the white one for your router which is a 9 volt connect that and your black is your 12 which would connect you and yes it doesn't fit so we do supply extra plugs let's just see which one fits there we go connect it up and then regarding power supplies for these devices um we don't it doesn't come with its own power supply so what we recommend is that from your ont box which is a 12 volt or if your router is a 12 volt you would just take the power supply from that device as you won't be using it okay and that will go into the in and let's give it a few seconds and you will see now because there's power both devices are on let this just go on there we go okay now what happens is with load shedding um if this is in the off position if we disconnect the power your router and your fiber box goes off you put the power back in and everything goes on so if you switch this on okay let everything just go on come on router okay now if this is in the on position when we disconnect the power your router and your fiber box stay on so that's what this little switch is for so if you leave it off when the power goes off everything's going to go off if you leave it on when the power goes off everything stays on and that is how we connect them up so now your root let's say for instance your router is 12 volt and your fiber ont box is also 12 volt there's only one 12 volt connection here luckily let me just switch it off unplug the power we disconnect this little device put that one side this puts out 12 volt okay so what you will do is we have a splitter cable so let me just loosen up this extra cable that we've got as well. Okay, so you'll take this extra cable, put it in the out, connect your splitter cable to your ONT and to your Wi-Fi. I know my it's nine volt, but I'm just just to demonstrate to you and there's a 12 volt okay so we've got it in off position we have our power let's see everything goes on and when you switch it on 
everything is still on. If we disconnect the power, everything is still on. So that is how you use our 12A and our 12B. So if you've got a 9 and a 12 volt, use the splitter box device. If both devices are 12 volt, you are free to use these extra cables that we do supply for you. And I'll show you again. You have your splitter cable and you have an extra cable that you can use as well. And yes, that is how you connect up our 12A and our 12B to your Wi-Fi and your, well, your router and your fiber box. So just remember, please check the back of your router. It will tell you your power. Like this one says, it's 9 volts, 0 0.6 amp. So I know most ONT boxes are 12 volts, so that's not a problem. And like I say, you can use this little device for your 9 and 12. You can use the splitter cable with the extension cable for the 12 volt as these two devices push out 12 volts. So if both your devices are 12 volt, you don't need this device. You only use the splitter cable and the extension cable and you will put it in the out port. The power supply, a 12 volt power supply, please, from your ONT, if your, if your Wi-Fi router is a 12 volt, you're more than welcome to use that power supply. But like I say, some are 9 volt, some are 12 volt. Most ONT fiber boxes are 12 volt, so you can use the power from there as you won't be using it for anything else. And that is how we use and set up our 12A and our 12B. Thank you so much.